All right, today is about doing something very strange. Wait, you mean you don't do strange things every day? Well, yeah, some days. Stranger this today. What I've got here on the table today are two of my favorite drones. One is the Iashin E013, the small pepper. And the other is the DJI slash Rise Tello, which is just an exceptional little drone. Now, this one's fun because it has FPV. It's a nice tiny whoop. I can fly it in the house. But you know, I find it a bit fidgety. It's, it's um, not quite as stable as I'd like for an FPV experience. And given that I'm a brand new FPV pilot, I'm finding this a little harder to learn on than I would otherwise. Or just to basically have an, a real FPV experience where you know I'm seeing through an FPV headset and I'm able to control a drone in real time. You know, you get the ones where you put your phone in the, uh, the slash goggle holders, and it's just not a real FPV experience because there's just enough latency, you know, just enough delay that by the time you are about to move so you don't bump into a wall, you've already bumped into the wall. It's too late, so you can't do anything about it. Anyway, so that's where these little FPV drones and their little um, non-HD signals come in. So let's take away these controllers. So here's what I'm going to do. And I've already done part of this, just kind of playing around this afternoon. I decided to take the FPV camera, this little fellow right here, out of the Iashin E013. Um, the cool thing is, I can still fly this around the house like a whoop, a mini whoop, and have a good time with it. But I can take this self-contained camera and these very cool goggles. So let's put my little Iashin away it away. So if I take this camera, stick it on my Tello, what have I got? Well, I'll tell you what I've got, kids. <laughs> I've got a really stable budget FPV set. That's what I've got. So that's what we're going to do today. Now, um, the FPV camera that comes out of the Iashin literally just unplugs. So I literally took the only step you're not going to see today is I took off the two screws here and unplugged it and pulled it out of the shell. Okay, that's it. Otherwise, we're going to do everything here together. All right. So, the first step, again, that you didn't see was the removal of the FPV camera from the Iashin E013. So, step one's done, and we'll set that over here for a second. Um, I just wanted to show you a couple other things. The, no, let's not do that. Okay. So the next step, the next step is going to be powering it. What I've done is just taken a little one cell, uh, 3.7 volt battery um, from, actually it's from the original E013 to come to think of it, because I bought a bunch of, um, a bunch of higher capacity replacements for it. And so this is a, the smaller battery and this will power this camera all day long because it's just such a low, um, there's just not much uh, circuitry in here and there's not much taking up power. It's not like an LED where you're, you're burning a lot of juice or a motor, for example. So anyway, all I need to do is attach this, uh, but they're on slightly different connectors. So I need to replace this connector with a donor. Uh, I don't have a bag of connectors or anything like that. And I went to um, what used to be Radio Shack here in Canada. It's now called The Source. And it should be called The Graveyard because there's nothing there that's of any use to the living. Oh, Got to be honest. There was a, uh, a tiny selection of random electronic components, like just a couple little things. Otherwise, it's just a few bits of junk here and there. It's uh, There's really not much left to the store. Anyway, nothing at Radio Shack. So... Uh, my other options were to uh, go to the city, which is an hour drive, and um, look for a specialty store or uh, wait six weeks in order from Banggood or Gearbest. No, nah, don't feel like doing that. So what I did was I've got a bunch of these um, charger cables for other batteries, and I'm just going to take the connector off as a donor and attach it to the, uh, to the camera so I can just plug it into the battery. Now, I don't want too much extra wire. Um because it's, believe it or not, a lot of weight in relation to the quadcopter. So what I'm gonna do is, well, maybe we'll give it four inches or so, something like that. Okay, and I learned the coolest trick the other day on the internet. And uh, the trick 
was how to carefully strip this wire. Now watch this, we'll use a Bic lighter. We will melt a little bit of this wire just to heat it up and then pull it off. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I know, right? I just learned that. We're gonna do a bit more here. Just a bit more off there. Boom, yeah, there we go. Okay, and I'll apply the same process to the small wires. Boy, wish I had known this trick 30 years ago. This is an electrician's trick or something. Those guys, when they do this every day, they develop all the special cool skills. Okay. That should do the trick. Okay. And for the camera, we'll cut this off as close as possible to the connector. So this isn't going back on the, the board of the Iashin. I'm not too worried about it. Okay, we'll do the same thing here and just take the ends of the wire off. Boom, whoops. Not quite enough lighter time. Whoops, I guess it has to be just about to burn. There we go, perfect. Okay. So we'll twist up these wires. Make sure we've got a decent mechanical connection before we solder. Whenever you can, always have two connections and that's one is a good mechanical connection if you can make it. And um, then the second will be solder, which we'll put on here in a second. Okay, yeah, my big old fat fingers are not well suited for fine electronic work, which is why I went into software and management. <laughs> yeah, if you hear my dog roaming around, she apologizes and I apologize. <clears throat> There's always a bit of noise going on. Okay, there we go. So, we've got it wired. Now, just for fun, before we solder it, let's just see if it works. So, how am I gonna test this? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this in. Oh, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, please. Oh, goodness. Do that again. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at those little lights. Oh my God, there's little lights on the FPV camera, guys. That's freaking cool. Okay, oh my God, I'm so excited. Now, we're going to uh, <laughs> gonna turn on the FPV goggles. Holy shit. You guys see this? Let's see if I can turn this camera around. Oh my God. I'm looking at myself through FPV glasses. Holy shit, this is working. All right, look at that guys. Okay, so we've proven the concept. All we need was some power to that camera. All in one, pairs immediately to the glasses. Holy shit, this is gonna work. That's exciting, okay. So let's take that apart for now, leave it there. Uh, let's solder up the wires. Just make sure. Okay, turn the soldering iron on here. Uh, we definitely won't need much solder there. It's a very small connection. Let's just clean up the little bits. And you also don't want to keep heat too long on very fine wires because it conducts that heat to, or should I say through the wires and into the printed circuit boards. And you can actually damage and actually unsolder small pieces. So be, be cognizant of that. Okay, where'd my little pad, my little foam pad, there it is. Lot of solder off. Okay. 
Yep, I'm the worst solder ever, guys. Absolutely friggin' terrible. <laughs> terrible. But, we'll get it done. Edit this, aren't we? Oh, yes, we are. Okay, anyway, I think that's a good enough job. That's all we need. They're definitely soldered. They're connected. All right. So let's turn this off. And that's really the only, uh, <laughs> should I say, complicated part. Uh, the rest of this build <laughs> requires Velcro. That's about it. So the question you may be asking is, how are you going to get all this on there? Well, I have two pads of Velcro on the Tello right now. And those were for my high visibility mods if uh, any of you guys saw the video. If you haven't, I'll link it. Um, anyway, the bottom was for a strobe and the top is for this drone keeper beacon. Hey, hey there. I'm trying to film uh, an upgrade here, buddy. Can you keep it down? Can you keep it down, please? My dog wants to play at the same time. Hey, quit chewing your own ears, come on. All right, so I'm just throwing some electrical tape around the uh, ends of these connections just to make sure they don't short out or touch anything inadvertently. <sighs> Come on, tape. Give me a break here. So now what we have left to do now is to put either a piece of Velcro or maybe I'll just use an elastic band and just stick that on. I think that'll actually work just fine. Yeah. So what I'll do is I will use the Velcro that I've already got on this little tiny battery. So we will just Velcro that to the tip of the cello like so. And I will just stick an elastic band over here to hold the FPV camera. You also gotta make sure there's no wires sticking up or anything like that because you can see there is very little clearance when it comes to, for the props and whatnot. So you've gotta get that thing centered and make sure it's on there tight, which I'll do in just one second. Okay. Okay. All right, folks. So here's what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna use the elastic band because because reasons. I just couldn't, can't make it work. So what I'm going to do is take a piece of Velcro. Um, the reason I don't just stick it on the bottom is because I don't want to remove this piece of, um, it's, it's like sticky foam and it's going to provide a bit of vibration dampening. So I should get a better, um, feed from the camera if I leave that on. And it's harder to stick the Velcro just kind of around that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the Velcro on, but I'm going to put a little hot glue through here. Um, well, around the edges mostly just to kind of stick this, um, stick the Velcro on. So it's going to give me a little Velcro sheath like that sort of, it's going to be ugly, but I hope to get the glue around here to help hold it on. So we'll see what happens. Here we go. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Okay. Let's see. Get it around the edges, something like that. Yeah, that looks about right. Now we'll get some of the hot glue and just kind of make sure it sticks. I hope it doesn't mess up the electronic components. If it does, well, you know what? It was an experiment and it was fun. And that's the idea, guys. I'm having a little fun here. Um, the total value of this camera is about, ooh, I don't know, 
10 or $15. And I can order a replacement. Probably not going to. I'm just going to hope that my nasty little glue gun fix just works here. Okay. All right. So I'll just leave that for a minute. Kind of hold it on there. I think hot glue gun sets rather quickly. And we'll turn it off because that's really all there is to this build. That's all I need. Right, so if we slide the tello over here, this camera is just going to sit right there. And I think, oh yeah, we've got a little bit of vibration dampening. That's perfect. We'll have our power lead down here. That's nice. So maybe I will put a rubber band on here just to tuck away the cords. So maybe there will be a rubber band here after all. actually fly guys all right and so that's that okay we are powered up now okay Now, I'm just tucking these wires. This is the ugliest job. Now, yeah, this is this is terrible. I'm gonna have to redo this. Although, I suppose if I do move that up a little bit. All right, that's definitely temporary. What do you think, guys? <laughs> that is ugly. Yeah, this is the temporary version. <laughs> Get something more elegant in, in place. But for now, dudes, I've actually got an FPV camera sitting on top of my Tello. So, that's something. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go fly it, that's what we're gonna do. should be very interesting. Tello. <laughs> it was ugly. It was scary. But that gummit, I did it. Woohoo! Wee! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's your daddy? I am. No, I'm your daddy. Wait a second. Never mind. <laughs>